Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. It is a glorious new day. And I've got to just quickly mention, I love having time accelerate in, in this screen. It enables me to get to the daytime and be like, hey. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and see Gene. As we do at the beginning of every session. Hey Gene, how's it? Oh, I hit, hit my headset. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I was kind of waving at Gene. All right, uh, so hey Gene, how's it going? Uh, I want to do this. I think it's time we start building orbital stations. Uh, I, I didn't really do much of this sort of stuff last last session, because uh, last season, because in the stock game there's not really much point. I mean, you can only really use space stations for like refueling points or, or crew transfers or, you know, way markers. And in the stock game, that's that's almost useless. But this gives us a reason, and this is this is almost the entire reason that I put fine print in here, was to be able to build some some fucking awesome space stations all right let's let's get on with that i, I think that's all that we're gonna do um i mean we've got three hundred thousand to play with uh yeah two days i don't know uh, do we, do we want to do now that we know we're doing but well, we'll leave that there but now that we know that what that we're doing space stations i think it's time to spend this thousand odd points of science well nearly a thousand points of science uh first thing i want to do just because i hate having this little like dead zone here i'm not i don't intend to do planes um for a little bit or at least until we're down like somewhere here in the hypersonic flight but i like having the probe core and this other cockpit open because they're they're just amazing uh and possibly these winglets okay so let's have a look down here now i i'm so after a big lifter um so i think that's going to be happening uh keythane is kind of a good idea but the robotics parts are, are, are a winner so we're going to do that i'll go through and buy most of these bits out of here um sort of off camera i think uh air in scoop i've been oh hello mark one fuselage intake I, I didn't know this was a thing We'll find out more. Anyway, I'll, I will find out more about that later. Um, RCS, boom, done. Like there, there is no way that we are going to be able to launch any sort of space station without RCS. Well, it's not. We can launch. We can launch stations easy. It's it's the uh, the, the the getting the docking happening smoothly. Uh, right. So down here somewhere, we've also got. So that's for um, if I remember correctly, putting onto rovers and stuff. Uh, but more importantly, the, the, the lab. Do we want a lab? I don't think we want a lab around uh, Kerbin, but we do want this science, so we're going to do that. Uh, the, the, the temperature. Uh, landing gear. Eek, eek. I don't know. I don't know about landing gear. Um, I kind of want them, but at the same time, I kind of could do with spending it elsewhere. This is all important stuff, though. Ladders, the uh, ba barometer. Barometer. <laughs> measures berries. Um... Uh, an orbital telescope and the, the multisexual scanner. Boom. Done. Definitely. Definitely. Right. I want this. Large parts. I mean, we're going to be lifting a space station. We're not going to be doing that on a tiny part. And on that theme, I think we should get the main sails and orange tanks. Start start looking at how much money we've got now. Um, oh, look. Opens, opens up. Oh, look at the big ones. Oh, I do like a big one. Uh, right. What else have we got? The claw. Oh, wait. I thought... What's this then? Solar particle collector. Oh, now see, that I was looking through this and I was just like, oh, I'll just grab the grab the claw. And I thought that was there, and it's not. You can you can see why I've, why I was mistaken there. All right. Uh, so oh, I'm gonna have to to find out what that is, but uh, hopefully we can put it around uh, put it around orbit. Oh, our money is going to be tight. We might have to take on a testing mission after we've stuck up a, uh, a kind of a standard spaceship. Um, and then now, what have we got? We got maybe one more bit that we can buy. Maybe two if we do these two. But I don't. I don't think we're going to do these two. I don't know what these Werner engines are about. Um, people have been singing their praises, but I've not really had a play with them yet. Or miniaturization. Oh, hello. Core drill is designed to collect surface core samples. Hmm, that sounds that sounds interesting. And miniaturization is nice for 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 rovers and such. Impulse, boom. Okay, we've got 90 science left. And that's uh, sorry, 70 science left, and it's 90 for these. So, okay. Well, I will be back when I have bought 
all the things that I think are um, essential out of this this kit, um, and possibly with some some lift designs, not lift designs, some some module designs for the the, the station. All right, guys. So I thought I'd do some sort of weird sort of halfway through my build updatey thing. Uh, this is kind of the idea I've got going with at the moment. Well, this is the shape that I'm going with, kind of a three prong circular thing with a spire in the middle. I, uh, I'm going to call this the wagon wheel. I think now yeah yeah let's do that the wagon wheel um so my major problem with this is how the hell am I gonna lift it I mean I've got a tiny um hang on, it's a wheel I'm sure I spelled that wrong or something but yeah I've got a tiny little port down here that I can stick a lifter onto oh, I keep forgetting I've got the uh, kerbal attachments parts um and I also have I, I I got a feeling this central spire is going to get a lot bigger um I, this is just meeting the basic parameters of the contract I need five kerbals, some power, comms unit, and docking ports. Now I've got docking ports all the way all the way around the outside. I I don't know why, but I thought that would be the best place to put them, sort of ragerly. Uh, I I can see me leading that leading to all sorts of problems, especially if I'm docking slightly larger ships. But because um, as you may have noticed, this is quite a small build actually for a space station. Uh, it's just the requirements weren't that great, so I was just gonna go that but yeah so i'm gonna add all sorts of extra stuff i think we want some keythane scanning on them because it's nice to know where keythane is on the floor on the kerbin and then there's all sorts of other stuff i'd like to put up there as well um and and power needs to be seriously sorted out i'm not sure what we're gonna do for power uh maybe put a central central core in or maybe have a, a little flagpole coming off the top with some power i will let you know which one i'm going to do out of those when i do it but yeah I, I i'm going to add some stuff onto this lots and lots of stuff onto this so i think i've got the main structure finished here uh it fulfills all the functions of the contract and a few other things uh like we've got the metro, uh, multi spectral sensor here uh, around here there's another sp uh, multi spectral imaging platform I, I didn't know what the difference between the two was so i thought i'd just throw them both up there uh we've got keythane and magnetometer uh and we've got the telescope and solar particle collector down the bottom there i thought they'd be nice little things to have on uh, i've also put these uh, containers on here because well at the moment they're empty um, but you you just know i'm gonna end up wanting to put all sorts of things in there um probably i might even put some parachutes in there so that yeah this will be the place they come to if I've, I've forgotten to put parachutes on yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do actually uh but there is one small problem with this uh and it's not as you might have thought how am i gonna attach the rockets to this to launch it i'd already figured that bit out uh if i come across these sub assemblies and let's get out jack because you know what else do you lift the wagon wheel with uh and pop him in and here, here's my lift platform. Oh, I've not got this exactly right. We'll have to figure that out again. The problem here is 149,000 out of 141,000. You know what this means. We're going to have to go do some rubbish commercial flight. Um, now, this vessel might seem quite small here. Oh, I missed him. Let's get this right. Oh, oh, hang up. This vessel might seem quite small here, but trust me, he does have enough oomph to get get the wheel up into space. Let's pop that back there. That's where I like to have that. Ooh, what's going on here? You know what? I'm just going to back out of this. Let's go and have a look at the contracts we can do to make ourselves some money, because that, that really needs to be a thing that we do. Uh, so let's go over to Jeans. Hey! Now, the one that's caught my eye is takes the test the basic jet engine so we can just go out build the worst plane in the world and give it a fly presenting the worst airplane in the world its faults are many and varied and i think we're going to go through them uh before we start flying uh the first one this thing in the bottom obviously you see that uh that is a lack of landing gear. Um, in this case, taking off gear. Uh, and in this parachute's case, landing gear. Uh, so, you know, we've, we've kind of got it covered, but it, it's not great. It's not an aircraft, really, is it? Uh, the next problem I think you'll find is that we've got no air intakes, which is also pretty rubbish. Uh, we're, we're missing the intakes for the same reason that we're missing the landing gear. I didn't click on them in the science bay, uh, so that that's pretty rubbish. But we've got some rockets on the back that should hopefully do the same job. I, I really do hope. Uh, so now, if we have a look up here, our contract specifications. 
Uh, we need to get up to about 10k and we need to be flying uh, at uh, 2.30 to set. So it's quite a wide range. I have no idea whether we're going to be able to do it or not on this vessel. Um, let's just give it a go and find out. You know, I'm actually even going to go as far as putting this up here so we can fire our rockets up and then do it. Go. May or may not work. Here we go. Yeah, no, no, no this, this is holding good. This is holding good. I like this. Okay, right, so our first thing is we need to get up pretty high. Which is no great problem given the uh, post editing time acceleration that we can undergo here. Um, so this vessel, I, as you may have been able to tell from, from old me's commentary, I was not overly happy with it. I, I was hoping to just kind of get out and build a plane and then I realised all these errors, all these things were missing uh, from the science because I, I decided to push on with rocketry and, and like docking ports and stuff. And here you see I have run out of fuel two kilometers short of my of my intended target and this this was vexing as you can imagine uh, but thankfully i'd stuck some wings on it we weren't just using rocket propulsion so i could just glide my way back in or rather jeb could glide his back his way back in and use the parachutes to make a rather uh, nice and poignant landing poignant I'm not sure why it's poignant. This this entire mission was was quite poignant actually. Shows how woefully underprepared I am for the hard mode that I've set it to. Again, hard mode and inverted, inverted commas because hey, we're using mods and that's never going to be all that hard, is it? Especially with all the orbital science stuff. But yeah, there we go, safe. Undeterred, I come up with a genius plan to just scale up the size of that rocket. Go with radio engines but bigger. Go with a fuel tank but bigger. Not bearing in mind that if I scale everything up, this means the weight also scales up and we still end up short of our target without any uh, the speed to, to carry us through to the testing process. Which again, was vexing, but hey, I, I've got used to this kind of gliding down business now. Uh, I was fairly certain we weren't gonna kill Jeb. Uh, the only real concern of mine was putting this down close enough to the uh, the space center that we got as much money back as possible. Because with every one of these failed missions, I am pushing further and further away from my target of being able to lift the wagon wheel, which, you know, is kind of the whole point of this. Um, so wasting all this fuel, all these parts, just uh, even the distance was really just a, a bit of a waste of time, really. But you guys know me, I'm not one to be deterred by repeated and expensive failure. So we streamline the design down a bit, we stick some more wings on it, one engine on the back because that's where most of the weight is coming from, and we point directly upwards because, hey, what more efficient way is there of getting up to nine kilometers than the straight line from A to B? Uh, everything is going well at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm looking around, checking my, my altitude and my speed, getting ready to hit that run test button, and there we go. I don't know what all the fuss was about. Why I couldn't have done that first time, I, I, I'll never know. Uh, our only real ob object now is to land back exactly where we want to land. Uh, I think we can just assume that I am going to do so, but hey, let's watch me plummet anyway, because, you know, a little bit of tension never hurt anyone. Actually, I suppose a little bit of tension hurts quite a lot of people, particularly people that are about to be hung. Hmm. Anyway, so we're coming down nice and low now. Looks a little fast, but that's all right. I've got all the parachutes. Uh, and, and there we go. We, we, we come down a little bit of engine thrust and... Oh. And that was quite a super expensive Oh, If we go over here, you'll see that I'm at 129,000. Actually, on this mission, I have had a net loss of something like 10 grand, which is not what we're trying to do. So slightly disheartened, but by no means beaten, we go and see Gene again and pick up this contract, that one right there, to test this tiny LV engine, because basically it's going to give us about 20 grand's worth of funds, and of course that's what it's all about, is raising the fund limit. So we, I pin all my hopes, almost all the entire space program's hopes, on this vessel, the will it profit, question uh, mark. I really do hope so. Uh, I've strip this down to the bare minimums a couple of solid boosters an engine on the bottom a fuel tank and we're going to test these little side engines on the side here side 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 
Uh, so my whole mantra the whole way through this was 22 kilometers, 500 meters per second. And I nail that here. Now, my only real thought is how are we going to get back down quick enough to keep this, this little bit of video interesting? Well, I do it just like this. Uh, we point down, we, we open up the throttle as far as we can go, and we just head to the ground as fast as possible. I, I, I at this point, was quite, quite bored of trying to uh, do all this contract stuff. So I just wanted to get it over with. And I, I think I managed to achieve it quite well here. Uh, I didn't cut my engines until the drag on the front was overpowering the uh, the boost on the back. So my, my ship just ended up spinning around anyway. So there was no point firing up my engines. And this low to the ground, we decided to open up the parachutes. Still a little bit further away than I would have liked, as you guys know, but there we go. Safe landing and 20 grand in the back pocket gets in. Uh, more importantly, that's enough money for a launch. Look at that, 150 grand, perfect. And after all those trials and tribbles, we finally have the wagon wheel launching up into space. It's been quite an adventure. I wasn't really expecting it to be this difficult. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna throw a space station into orbit. And then, whoa, the intricacies of running a space program suddenly hit me full in the face. Uh, literally, all my um, space program's money has gone into this program, uh, this particular launch, which is a small issue. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but when I say all my money, I literally mean at the end of this, when I get the, uh, the, the contract money for fulfilling this, I am left with 60 grand in the bank. So I'm gonna tell you what we do next look, next session. We're gonna be just uh, doing all sorts of station, uh, not station, all sorts of satellite uh, maneuvers and stuff like that. Trying to earn some me mega bucks from all the corporations that are blatantly out there on Kerbal, even though we can't see any of their offices or anything. But yeah, no, that, that, that's definitely what we're doing. But you know, that's, ne that's next time. This time, everything went surprisingly well with this launch. Um, yeah, we got up into into a suborbital trajectory. Managed to dump the first stage boosters, which was great. Um, the only small issue I have is this vessel's um, secondary boosters here were supposed to have parachutes on the outside, uh, so I could fly them back and get a little bit more money back off of the um, off the space center. But that didn't happen because I forgot to put the parachutes on, so that's a bit rubbish. But there we go. Uh, in like five, four, there, done contract is done I was going to do a countdown but of course we're sped up in time and there's the wagon wheel hey well thank you very much for joining me for this adventure guys uh, I will see you next time as I say we will be going around and doing a load of commercial flights because I've got no money bye